Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Khalil Brother, Brother in the Khalil the Hubble Sports Board. Coming to you live at Lee's River, Virginia, Lowndes County area. Extra that is. Today I'll be I'll be talking about Antonio Brown turning down a two mil settlement on the allegations that is made. I'll talk about the fact that Tyson Fury retained his lineal title and he got a cut right above his eye. Josh Allen and the Bills, the fourth fourteen that is. To defeat the G-Men and the Jets on the road. I'll get you guys into that. I'll talk to you guys about the fact that the Raptors, they partnered up, teamed up with Nike for Team Brendan High Jazz for the uh, Muslim women. That is. I'll talk to you guys about that for sure. Justin Gay taking out um, Cowboy Cerrone. I'll talk to you guys also about the um, the Josh Burnett's Bloodsport 2 results. And I'll tell you what, who Killer Cross called out. It's a big, it's going to be a big surprise, guys. You don't want to miss You don't want to miss on that, though, by the way. I'll talk to you guys about the fact that um, Impact Wrestling is going to move to um, Access TV next month. That is my birthday month, October. The draft returns to SmackDown Friday night, October 11th. And on, Fo on Fox, that is, Raw on October 14th, USA Network. Talk to you guys about that, Who's gonna, who could go where. Another blown call for the, the Saints, that is, and for Saints fans. Kyler Murray, throwing for 300 yards. I'll talk to you about But I, do wanna, I, I just want to start things off with the fact that um, A, B, and Tony, Antonio Brown, he declined to sign a two mil plus agreement that is with Brittany, Brittany um, Taylor that is to settle the sexual assault allegations against him between uh, Taylor's attorneys told the civil suit against for the civil suit against him after Brown didn't s sign off on the settlement the suit was filed Tuesday so I will say this though that Brittany Taylor, she's gonna visit the NFL tomorrow. Yes, Brittany Taylor, Antonio Brown's former trainer and accuser, she will meet with the NFL by tomorrow, ladies and gents. You do not want to miss on that. All eyes on that. Fans from around the country, fans watching at home, fans around the world, fans on social media. You're gonna pay close attention to that. She, she was, she was just saying because this, this ladies and gents, gonna be the end of Antonio Brown's NFL career. So. Look out, guys. Stay tuned for that. New details are going to emerge, so I'll keep you guys into that. Also, another thing I do need to get to, I'm going to get you guys on the uh, Josh Burnett's Bloodsport 2 results. Here they are, ladies and gents. Dirty Daddy Chris Dickinson defeats Andy Williams. Sumi Sakai takes out Lindsey Snow. Eric Hammer defeats J.R. Kratos. Anthony Corelli, you may formerly know Santino Morella, he takes out Simon Grimm. Anthony Henry defeats Zachary Wentz. One third of the Rascals, Allison K, the Shine Champ, and NWA Women's Champ. She takes out Nicole Nicole Savoy, who's the um, Shimmer Champ. That is, by the way, Timothy Thatcher takes out Ikuhisha Mano Manoa. Killer Cross defeats Nick Gage. Afterwards, Killer Cross calls out former WWE Champ, World Heavyweight Champ. Evolution member, U.S. champ, Batista. Yes, at the Killer Cross took out Nick, Nick Gage. Killer Cross calls out Batista. The question question that I'm gonna ask: Will Batista accept? So, folks, you don't miss on that because that's the bone. That's a bone chill surprise. And Batista does accept, oh, that's going to be a match that people are going to want to see. Will Batista accept Killer Cross's invite for Bloodsport 3? If you want to see Killer Cross versus Batista, mark it down in the comment section, everybody. Moving on, David Boy Smith Jr. defeats Filthy Tom Lawler. Josh Warmaster Josh Burnett takes out Dirty Daddy Chris Dickinson. Those legends are your, are your Bloodsport 2 results, GCW Bloodsport 2 results, by the way. Other things I didn't address that is the Raptors, they partnered up, teamed up with uh, Nike for Team Brennan Hijabs for the uh, more inclusive to fans of all, of any cultures, that is. Nike Pro Hijabs, first NBA team, the Raptors, they can the first NBA team, that is, to, to, to fare the um, athletic hijabs for Muslim women, that is. They're known as the hijab ballers, women playing basketball at community court with a team, so... What a surprise that is, everybody. So I'm not sure the NBA is going to react to that. and It's a big surprise to everybody. It's the first thing that's ever happened to all the women out there. So you got to give them credit to you, by the way. 
Also, know this, I do need to address that uh, Josh Allen, the Bills, four team, or the fourth team, that is, to uh, defeat the Giants, which I'm a little unsatisfied with, and the Jets on the road in consecutive weeks. Man, not looking good there. I hope the Giants get it together. So, once again, Tyson Fury retained his uh, lineal title with a cut right above his eye. You check that out, guys. So, congrats to me. And he calls out Deontay Wilder, though. But you'll see that fight, the rematch, come um, February 2020 at, um, at um, Vegas, that is. Don't miss out on the rematch. Pretty good. Also, there's Justin Gaith. He takes out Cowboy Cerrone. In the first round by TK on 4 minutes and 18 seconds at UFC Vancouver afterwards. He wants a title match against UFC light, lightweight champ Khabib or he takes on Tony Ferguson. And if Conor McGregor wants to fight Justin Gaith, Justin Gaith would, it, would it be interested in that. But I'm not sure if he wants it or not. So that, that'll be good right, right there. So it's news right there. Another thing I do want to do, I want to talk to you guys about the breaking news, though, that the WWE draft returns to SmackDown Friday, October 11th on Fox and Raw on October 14th on the USA Network. Fox and NBCU programs will, will make the picks determining who's going to go where. So you don't want to miss out on that, though, ladies and gentlemen. So the WWE draft returns to SmackDown Friday night. Sorry, October 11th, and on Raw, October 14th. That is, you don't want some WWE jab. This is two nights special, so be, please stay tuned for that. I'll tell you guys who's going to go where exactly. Also, I do need to address that um, Impact Wrestling will move into Access TV a a next month in October. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, you may find out this past week that Impact Wrestling is going to return to national television on Access TV. On October, now it's been on Spike, it's been on Destination America, Travel Tent Channel, it's been on one, Channel 194, that is. So, and that's going to move into um, Access TV. So, Impact Wrestling is going to be returning to Access TV on October, that is. You don't miss on that, though. So, it's pretty good. Must see, must watch right there. Don't miss out on that. Others, that I, others I need to address that Kyler Murray threw for 300 yards. He finished with, three, with um, 349 yards in total, that is, touchdowns and interceptions. Also, another blown call for the Saints and the Saints fans. We saw the Saints recover a football, ran into the end of the zone, and it's a dead play. It was an incomplete pass. So, Saints fans were robbed once again, and Saints fans are going to be a little upset. So, I'm not too pleased about that. Hopefully, they get that figured out. That's 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 the number. I'm sorry. They can get that together. So, hopefully, that turns. Hopefully, you know. And the saying that Drew Brees is injured with the hand injury. And Rams right now, they're taking him out yet again. And that's not looking good. So hopefully, they get just, that's not looking good there. So that's it. That's all news I got right there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it right for the Clue of the Hubble Sports Board. Please be sure you always like to subscribe to the Clue of the Hubble Sports Board YouTube channel and Facebook page by any means necessary. Please be sure you send me comments with your reaction of Raptors being the first team to allow women to have the uh, Nike Pro High Jazz for Muslim women out there. Let me know in the comment section. Send me reaction, tweet your thoughts about that as well in the comment section. Tell me something of the Patriots taking out the, the Dolphins for anything or nothing. Let me know about in the comment section. I'll respond and address to that. What you think of the Josh Burnett's Bloodsport 2 results? Let me know in the comments. What you think of um, Killer Cross calling out Batista, by the way? Let me know in the comment section. Some of your extra tweets thought about that. Let me know if you think that Batista would accept that match. Everything you want to see that match happen between Killer Cross and Batista. Let me know in the comment section about that. Let me know think of Tyson Fury getting a cut above his eye, right above his eye, when he retained the Lillian title against Otto Wallen. Let me know about in the comment section. Your extra tweets thoughts on as well. What do you think of Justin Gate? That is getting a, a UFC title fight against Khabib or taking on Tony Ferguson or trying to get comic, right? Let me know in the conversation. Let me know what your responses are, your thoughts are, tweets are, by the way. What do you think of um, the draft returning to October, SmackDown, October 11th on Fox and on uh, Raw, October 14th, the USA Network? Let me know in the conversation. Make sure you tweet your thoughts about that as well. I respond and address to that. So let me know about that for sure. So that's all the news. Let me know what you think of that blown, blatant blown call yet again for an incomplete pass. A dead play in the end zone. Let me know in the comment section your results, your thoughts about tweets about that as well. Also, my gesture. I bet more breaking news, straight times development, so let's live updates and a whole lot more on the clue that was sports, but all things sports related. And I'll keep you guys up posted on latest updates on the Antonio Brown probe, that is, and figure out what the fallout's going to be. Don't be sure to catch the exclusive interview with um, Brittany Taylor tomorrow, that is. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are, reactions, and where the repercussions are away, Antonio Brown. Let me know in the comment section what your reactions, your thoughts, and tweets about that are. And I'll respond and address to that as well. So that's all the news I got right there.
So that's all I'm gonna do right there. So take care, everybody. You guys have a good evening. Bye bye.